Hey guys, Troy back here to do another chapter of fiduciary training for you. Uh, we do select the subject matter uh, periodically to fulfill certain obligations of things that we think need to be covered. But if you have any questions at all, uh, things that you're curious about in terms of your role with the plan, let us know and we'd be happy to incorporate that into some of the training as well. So today we're going to talk about what is your role and what's the role of PhD Retirement Consulting. So PhD Retirement Consulting is which of the following? Check all that would apply. Are we serving in a fiduciary capacity to the plan or are we not serving in a fiduciary capacity to the plan? Well, we are serving in a fiduciary capacity to the plan. So the first one is correct. Are we serving in an ERISA 316 administrative fiduciary role? We are not. We have to be administrators to do so. We're not administrators. Are we serving in an ERISA 321 co-fiduciary capacity? Most certainly. Are we serving in an ERISA 338 investment fiduciary capacity? Very likely. Uh, your consulting agreement with us will actually spell out whether it's only a 321 capacity or a 321 and a 338 role that we play with you. Are we serving in a capacity that removes all of your fiduciary liability? I think you know the answer to that by now, but to state the obvious, there's nothing that can remove all of your fiduciary liability. Are we serving in a discretionary capacity with regard to your plan investments, or are we serving in an advisory capacity with regard to your plan investments? Well, we're certainly serving in an advisory capacity with your plan investments, but we may also be serving in a discretionary capacity if, in fact, we're serving in a 338 investment manager role. That's most likely to be the case if we have built custom portfolios for you. So we may actually be serving in both 321 and 338 roles with regard to the plan. So what's your role and what's the role of PhD? So PhD Retirement Consulting is serving in a fiduciary capacity, but you're still a plan fiduciary. Your due diligence file and your documentation mitigate some liability and discharging duties under ERISA in what we call a fiduciary risk transfer mitigates some liability but no amount of outsourcing fiduciary services will ever completely replace you as the fiduciary. You are the plan fiduciary and you're acting in one of these roles, either the CEO, the CFO, or the COO. So we kind of refer to the plan sponsor as the CEO of the workplace retirement plan. The plan sponsor sponsors the plan. And the plan sponsor, the employer, cannot not be a fiduciary unless they no longer sponsor a workplace retirement plan. The CFO is the plan's trustee, the one who basically is signing the documentation and responsible ultimately for the exchange of money and the distribution of funds and things like that. That's the trustee or the CFO. And then the plan administrator is kind of serving almost like the COO of the plan. I will tell you, this could be an individual, but in most cases, it's the retirement plan committee. The retirement plan committee is operating kind of like the COO of the company or the workplace retirement plan. Now, which of these statements about personal liability are true? Is it that all fiduciaries have personal liability, that fiduciaries are personally liable, or I'm sorry, are not personally liable, only the company sponsoring the plan is, that fiduciaries are personally liable, but they can hire service providers to eliminate all their liability, or fiduciaries won't have any liability as long as contributions are made in a timely fashion. Well, I think we can agree that it's really important that contributions be made in a timely fashion, but even if that's done, it does not remove your fiduciary liability. Uh, and I think you know by now that there's nothing that can eliminate all of your liability, so that obviously couldn't be true. What is true is that fiduciaries have personal liability. So each individual is personally liable. Each individual on the retirement plan committee, each plan fiduciary is personally liable for the fiduciary responsibility related to the workplace retirement plan. So that's why we do fiduciary training. If you have any other questions or if any of these things have raised questions for you, let me know. We're here to serve you to help you be better and smarter and do a better job of serving your employees. All right, take care and have a great day.